I used to think this was the best computer ever. M2, an incredible keyboard, and Final Cut Pro ran super smoothly on it. Everything was perfect. I thought this was, was the best computer Apple could ever make. Until a few days ago. Well, the other day, Apple announced M2 Pro and M2 Max, their new lineup of M2 chips. If you don't know Apple, a few years ago tried to make the switch to Apple Silicon, which is Apple's pre-made homemade chips made, made by Apple. And that's what's inside this machine, M2. It's very new, came out last summer, and it's incredible. I love it so much, and I use it for everything. I'm gonna end this video on it. But then, the other day, Apple just put out a random video and said, you know what, we'll give you two more chips. M2 Pro, M2 Max. They also gave us a new computer along with it, the MacBook Pro 14 and 16 inches, and the Mac Mini. Now the Mac Mini only supports M2 and M2 Pro, but Pro support either M2 Pro or M2 Max. Now what do I mean by Pro and Max? So M2, first off, M2. Very simple, very easy, it is a chip. Now the M2 chip, which is this bad boy, and other, all, all the other chips have neural engine, um, GPU, CPU, all of these different things. And the thing is, each chip gets better and better. There's more GPU, there's more CPU, there's more power. Great thing is M2 Pro has over 40 billion transistors. Wow. But guess what? M2 Max has 67 billion transistors. Now that's 10 billion more than M1 Max. These chips are what Apple quotes are scaling up the M2 architecture. If you haven't seen the announcements for yourself, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. It's very cool. But thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that, and I will see you in the next one.